What is the next story, Ross? All right, well, this is exciting movie news. We have our first trailer for Scream 5. Now, who was in the first Scream? Oh, that's right, you. Mm -hmm. You were Drew Barrymore. Uh huh. <laughs> Guilty as charged. And Scream 5 <laughs> is coming soon. We've got a first look. Whatever his link is to our past, it's pulled us all back here. And I won't sleep until he's in the ground. Okay. Now, Scream 5 doesn't come out until January 14th, but they say it's gonna be worth the wait. The original cast is back, except for you. <laughs> um, well, cause if you haven't seen it, spoiler alert. Um, <laughs> I don't watch that many scary movies, but I'm gonna go to this one because I just watched the first one because you're in it and you're really good in it, by the way. Uh, yeah. You're really right, oh, really good. Like, no, I took it as such an acting challenge. I read Kevin um, Williamson's script and I was, it was called Scary Movie at the time, not Scream, which ended up ironically being the parody's yeah. name. And I just thought, God, you know what sucks about scary movies is you always know that main person's gonna make it. Like by the skin of their teeth, what if we took that out? Mm -hmm. I die and all bets are off. And then it just took off into this wonderful genre of a, of, a, of a horror film. It was funny, it was irreverent, it was interesting. Um, and uh, this is the first time I've been like, damn, I wish I wasn't dead. I wanna be in this movie. <laughs> I, I love the way that they've actually made it genuinely scary. And I think it's gonna be a big deal. I do. I remember after seeing that movie, when I go home at night, that it is the reason that I do not linger in the downstairs area, mm -hmm. that I go straight to my bedroom and I shut the door because if there's anyone around, I just wanna sleep through it. You Thank know you. what I mean? Yes, completely. If there's an intruder or an attacker, I wanna be out cold when that happens. Yeah. I don't wanna fight, I don't wanna chase anybody around my house with a knife or anything like that. No, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. I was also upset that the popcorn got burnt. That really bugged me. <laughs> <laughs> you let it burn. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk to you about that. Are you a fan of scary movies? I, I don't, no. I mean, that that I watched also because Drew was in it. Um, but I don't like scary movies. I don't like violence. I don't mind being scared, but I don't like gory violence. No, You no. know, that's not, I'm not down with that. No, I like Steel Magnolias. That's like it for me in terms of... <laughs> Like the scene with the orange juice, that freaked me out. Uh, no more, <laughs> nothing past that. That's still like, no, yes. uh, drink your juice, Shelby, drink your, don't talk juice about me like better. I'm not here, remember? Okay, Chelsea, it's your next story. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do a new story. It has been two years since the horror of Cats the movie. <laughs> <laughs> traumatized by what Hollywood did to his musical. So People is reporting the famous Broadway composer recently revealed he had to get an emotional support animal <laughs> after seeing the movie Cats. Yes. Andrew said when he saw the movie, all he thought was, Oh God, no. <laughs> well, oh God. That's, a, that's a very special review. That, you know Cats had to be that bad if someone this gay refused to see it. You know, it, the reviews were so unbelievable. Did you see it? I did not see it. I heard about it. I'm not really into Cats to begin <laughs> with, so it wasn't really hard for me not to see that movie, but I heard how horrible it was. What, what was so bad about it? You know what, I, I wish now that I would have seen it so I could talk to you about how truly bad it was. Who was but... in it? Do we know mm -hmm. who was in it? I can run that down. Taylor Swift was in it, Jennifer Hudson was in it, Dame Judi Dench was in it. You'd think it'd be good, right? <laughs> Yeah, what's she doing what, in a bad true. movie? Dame Judi Dent. She's never been in anything bad. No, but now she has. Dame, yeah. Also, why were people so mad about it? Is it, did everyone hold Cats that dearly? Like, what is the deal? I think Cats was a lot of people's very first Broadway experience. And I think that, because I know it was my first Broadway play, so it was Mine Barnum too. and Bailey and then Cats. I yeah. never saw Cats, because I had a, this is such a deep dive into my childhood, but I, my neighbor had a cat that was really mean, so Cats have always scared me. So I never wanted to see the musical, because I thought it would bring back childhood trauma. Yeah. But no. cat, Cats aren't that friendly, though. I mean, they have that reputation for a reason. Mm -hmm. you know? There's no warm fuzzies going going on. Uh -huh. yeah. I never had one. I, uh, yeah, well, anyway. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Chelsea, um, you know, you love to stir things up on the internet. So, Chelsea put out these debates on Instagram and online. It was, do, you, do your toilet paper under or over? Uh-huh. Um, raise of hands, who's an over? Yeah. Raise your hands if you're an under. 
Okay, we are animals, apparently. Yeah. And then show this towel picture, because I participated in this too. And like, the biggest movie stars on the planet participated in this. Uh, raise your hand if you're a one. Raise your hand if you're a two. Okay, that's, then three. Oh, you, okay, three looks like you're living in a spa. Um, <laughs> right? Congrats on your life if you're a three. Literally, <laughs> what is wrong with me? I am an under and a, and a sad folder. What, what's wrong with me? These are such, this is, I didn't know that I was I know, like, I don't weird. think a lot of people knew until it was put in front of them and then people went nuts about it. So yeah, it is a very, it's, a, it's very divisive. Yes, it is. <laughs> I mean, you had like the biggest stars in Hollywood chiming in about how they're an over or an under or a towel folder. Anyway, when it's over, I feel like it just never ends and you waste toilet paper. Yeah, we've yeah. under puts a stop gap. The, well, on there. The, what sparked the conversation is you know, in airports, the toilet paper, how you grab a piece uh, and it stops one piece yeah. and it rips it off. Like that makes me upset because yeah, no one needs just one piece. No. You know, a piece, even like a thing. Yeah. I feel like it's a, just a pinch. Yeah, and you have to pull it and you're like, that puts us all in a bad situation, right? Because <laughs> you want to leave the restroom nice for the next person who comes along, obviously. <laughs> yeah. So they should be allowed allowing us to get some more toilet paper. So that's the first thing that they need to fix is yeah. the airports. You should run for office, I'm just saying. Well, you just uh, earned my vote. Thank you. But maybe, thank hold you. on, I that's think, I think we saying. might that's have found platform. another debate. Like, <laughs> here's a question I have. If you see the role is empty, at someone's house or in a public space, do you change it? Always, always. Oh, me too. Always. That's common courtesy. Who else? Anybody? Yeah. yeah. And who's oh. not raising their hands? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Let's all work together, okay? I agree yes, completely. Thank you.